Welcome back. We just heard from one of Charleston's leading oncologists about the expected rise in head and neck cancer. But groundbreaking innovative medical advances are being developed in the space to fight cancer before invasive treatment becomes necessary. Let's welcome Geert Kirsten, CEO of the CellSci Corporation, headquartered near Washington, D.C. We're glad that you could be down here in Charleston with us. It's such a pleasure. Thank you so much. So we heard about how head and neck cancers are on the rise. We're going to see a 30% increase in the next five years globally. Uh, I think the fear for a lot of patients is how invasive treatment is once the cancer has been discovered, and it sounds like discovery often happens later in the stages of this type of cancer. How are you going about changing all of that? Well, let's look quickly look at the treatments. It, they're barbaric. You're cutting someone's tongue out. They're using a saw to go through the bone. Mm -hmm. When you have, let's say, a tumor size of a golf ball, it's not very big. You have to cut basically like an inch well, let's make it half an inch, right, yeah. to be conservative around it. And suddenly that golf ball becomes this, this hand-sized thing that needs to be taken out of your face. God. Disfiguring. And even then, most of these people will have the cancer coming back. Oh. So we are adding radiation. Mm -hmm. Well, radiation never takes your cancer down to zero. So therefore, we're adding also chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Well, when I combine the horrible toxicity of radiation with the horrible toxicity of chemo, yeah. what happens? Well, people just, die. Right, right. So that's, we're trying, we're giving everything to these people. It, radiation, it kills your DNA, so that it essentially kills the cancer cell but then you're doing damage to the healthy parts of your body. I think of it simplistically as your radiation leaves you with a lunar landscape. Oh, goodness. There's nothing yeah. alive. Chemotherapy comes from mustard gas mm. used in the First World War. Right, yeah. That doesn't sound good, right? No. <laughs> so anyway, the key point is if you cannot eliminate the tumor with surgery, radiation, and chemo, which are the only tools we have, mm -hmm. what can we do? Right. Well. Hello, <laughs> your body, my body, we're alive. Yeah. Why don't we use our immune system? And that's, that's what you discovered through the development of this drug called Multikine. So tell us about this drug. How does it work with your DNA to help repair the cells and eliminate the cancer from, the, from your but body? But actually, look, right now we're alive, right? Yeah. And the immune system is what keeps us alive. Why are we not utilizing that? So we're not playing God. We copy that which you and I make right, right, right now. And now that it's not easy to copy. We spent over two hundred million dollars. Okay, mm -hmm. we have our own manufacturing facility, but we copied it and we're giving it to cancer patients. Now comes another difference. The normal thing people do is they wait until someone is already half dead. Mm. They failed surgery, radiation, chemo. What's left? Yeah, yeah. Your body is destroyed. It's too late. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people who've had cancer in the family, they know what it means. The patient is too far gone, it's too late. Right. So therefore, you have to do immunotherapy while the body still has the strength to fight back. So you just completed phase three of your testing, and how did that go? The phase three study is the last one. And what we showed is that people got our drug first, before, right after diagnosis. It's never been done, right? We go first. And are these early diagnoses? Oh, no, they're stage three and four. They are, okay. So what we, we think, and doctors think, that if we do what we're doing for people who are even earlier, stage one and two, mm -hmm. then you should be even more successful because the immune system is stronger. Sure. Stage three and four is what we're testing because they are so very sick. Yeah. So there's a simple rule that surgeons have told me. Two people will walk into their office. They know one of them is sure to die, mm -hmm. except they don't know which one. Right. Well, our study shed light on that. We found out that if you give our drug and then do the normal treatments of surgery and radiation, let's call that the left side, you have four years of extra life, mm -hmm. which takes you beyond five years, which is considered to be a cure period, right? So 73% of people are alive, 
versus 45 percent with our drug. I see. Phenomenal. There's been no yes. improvement for these people in overall survival. In decades, we have this. And by the way, it's non-toxic. That, that's incredible. It's okay. non-toxic. Well, we do need to take a break, but when we come back, I want to discuss a little bit more about this drug therapy and also where you're trying to introduce it, which is not necessarily here in the United States. You're also going global with this. So I want to get to that when we come back in two minutes, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We've been talking with Geert Kirsten, CEO of CellSci Corporation, which is developing a cutting edge head and neck cancer therapy called Multikine. Virtually non-toxic and when administered in early detection eliminates the need for invasive surgery, chemotherapy and radiation. And you just described how a lot of the, the phase three people undergoing these tests, stage three and four cancer, so very advanced in their cancer and you've seen such a positive result. So I'm curious, where are we in getting this approved here in the United States? When is it going to finally come to market? By the way, for your studies, you still have to do the surgery and all the other treatments. It's a requirement. We're not allowed to change anything. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. exactly. Oh, interesting. But once it's, imagine this one. Drug is on the market. We're only allowed to treat for three weeks because we're not allowed to delay your surgery. Three weeks is nothing, but your That's tumor right. is 50% gone. Yeah. Wouldn't you wait with your surgery maybe? Instead of having your tongue removed, maybe yeah. do another three weeks because you would like to save your tongue. So that revolution, mm -hmm. as I call it, will be done after the drug is to market. So how do we bring it to market? Well, we had meetings with the FDA and FDA unfortunately changed some of the rules, became stricter in the last mm -hmm. few years and we have to do another confirmatory study. We're currently hoping that the Trump administration will bring us back to where it was during the prior Trump okay. administration. Mm -hmm. In fact, the new commissioner talked about that and we would fall right into what it is. Think about this way. We have four years of extra life. We have statistics that clearly establish that this drug works very well, it's very safe. Why would you want to make patients wait sure. for years Make it available today while you have us do the study. So the past so approval is taking a, a little bit of time. So it takes time, but, so we said, okay, if the US became stricter, hopefully it will go back to the way, let us go to other countries right. where I think it's more logical to make this available to patients if it can help them today. And where, where did you introduce it? Well, you go where the money is, right? Yeah. Saudi Arabia. Middle East. Because, That's interesting. Well, yeah. they want to become a big biotech hub. It is in their developmental plan. I see. And they're interested because they want to get away from the oil economy. Mm. They are very eager. So we are working on a rapid approval of this drug in Saudi Arabia for distribution across the Middle East and North Africa. And at the same time, the new commissioner of FDA, FDA says we're going to introduce a path to bring it to market. Well, I want to ask you this last question. And when you think of head and neck cancer, that, that is just one of many cancers that are out there. Do you think that this particular technology, multi-kind, could be applied to other types of cancers? Yes, and we've already done it. So we tested it in cervical, which women will know is caused by the human papilloma virus. Mm -hmm which most people can clear themselves, but if it doesn't clear, it turns into cancer. And by the way, that huge HPV virus also causes other cancers. Yeah. So Hence we've, the head and neck. Well, not all of head and neck cancer. In fact, I the see. worst head and neck cancer is the oral cavity, which does not involve HPV. Oh, I see. Okay. If you have HPV involved, you respond better to radiotherapy. Mm, okay. But if you don't have HPV involved, like the oral cavity where they cut your tongue out, yeah. which is over half of head and neck cancers, then the outcome is much worse. Goodness. For people who want more information, want to follow the work that you're doing, where should they go? They should go to our website. It's www.cellsci.com. 
cel-sci.com. Wonderful. And or is our stock symbol on the New York Stock Exchange is CVM Charles Victor Mary. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kier, for sharing with us. Thank and good you luck too. with your next phase and, and what's happening in the Middle East. We'll keep our eye on it. We will keep on pushing. We never give yes. up. Yes, no, you're very tenacious. <laughs> I know that about you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back after this.